Hello everyone, and welcome to Orange University. On tonight's episode, Life Gain Spells. So, uh, I wanted to try out a deck that works very well with Heartfling Duelists, where all of my instants of sorceries gain lifelink. Guess what? There's actually another card that does that. She's called Judith Carnage Carnosaur. It's a cool name to say. Uh, we, whenever we cast an instant of sorcery spell, we can name one of, or choose one of the two abilities. Either our spell gains both Death Touch and Lifelink, or we can create a 2-2 Red Imp with whenever this creature dies, it deals 2 damage to each opponent. So, yeah, fantastic card, but it is Rakdos, and we are not going to play a Rakdos deck. We're going to play Boros deck. So don't let the color pie fool you. Uh, this whole deck is Boros. Uh, the idea is that within this deck, we're going to have Mechanized Warfare, we're going to have a lot of damage dealing spells, and then we're going to hard counter things like Mono Red and Boros, because, well, they're going to deal damage to us, we're going to kill their things, and then on the back side of that, we're going to gain life. Uh, eventually, we're just going to burst them or burn them out and attack them with things like Heartflame Duelists and maybe even a... Uh, where, where's the other card here? Uh, the Judith, right? So uh, we also have one Mirix to attack with Mites eventually, but Mirix is not our ultimate win con. So that's the idea of this deck. Now let's go into the deck list one by one. We have, first of all, four End of Festivities. That combos very well with Mechanized Warfare with uh, Judith because once our spells are Death Touch, well, then it's Festivity. Doesn't matter if it only deals one, it still kills them. I actually don't know how Death Touch work with Planeswalkers. I don't think it does anything, but hey, you know what? One damage is one damage. And then we also have three Torch of Tower, because we definitely need that early game uh, removal, because we always, always go second. That's that's Arena for you. All right, and then go to turn two. We're going to have two Get Lost, just in case we have to remove an Enchantment or a Planeswalker. We can do that with Get Lost. We have four Heartflame Duelists, kind of the idea of the deck. We got one Abrade. Uh, in case uh, somehow our phone has a forge or something we gotta blow up within the brain. We have two Volcanic Spite to help us recycle cards. Uh, basically, uh, loot cards from our hand. Uh, but it doesn't go to the graveyard, it just goes back to the deck, right? So if you have a land, you, have, you get flooded, you can take this out. We also have four Lightning Helix. Of course, this is the reason why this deck can't work. Lightning Helix does three damage to gain three life. That's pretty good by itself. But then, combo that with Heartflame Duelist, now it does three damage to gain a six life. That's a lot of life. And then, of course, uh, to get a little bit of card draw, we have uh, two Flick a Coin. Flick a Coin is, only does one damage, but it does scale up with Mechanized Warfare. One Mechanized Warfare, this, double, this doubles the damage, right? That's already good enough. Uh, it also gives a treasure to help us ramp a little, and we draw a card. So something that might work. Of course, we also have four Vampire's Vengeance. There's no Brotherhood's End in this deck, but we do have Vampire's Vengeance to deal two damage to the board and then create a Blood Token to help us filter our cards a little bit better. Brotherhood's End is good, but not great because it is Sorcery. This card is Instant Speed. Uh, three or four mechanized warfare uh, in a three drop also is very important because now our vampire's vengeance is basically a brotherhood's end or even more and then we also have two bandits hall uh, lots of cards target bandits hall will get us card draws and then we have two judith uh, judith is great I, I love her but i don't know if i can get a rakdos deck with her to work so i put her in the boros deck uh, you'll see how we play her and of course one bombardment all the decks is instant sorcery so one bombardment could work but this is not a bombardment deck so just one one to catch our opponent off guard, but not really more for uh, for a theme. Now let's talk about the land base because it looks kind of controlly, right? So we're gonna have 25 lands, not 26, not a full control deck. 25 lands with two bandits hull. I think that will be good enough. Uh, most of our cards are cost one or two mana, uh, so a little bit of three mana, and then there's only two five drops and one six drop. So the, the lands we're not gonna we, we're gonna flood more than we get mana screwed. Uh, so we don't need that much lands. So we got one ganjo, two planes. Look at that one swamp and three mountains. The one swamp is for Judith, of course, and then we can get the swamp out with the Field of Ruin. So yeah, that there's one swamp. If our opponent Field of Ruin us, we can also uh, fetch out a swamp for Judith. Not really necessary, but it's not like we're gonna be the like, color screwed too often. Uh, we have, uh, I talk about one Aganjo, one Sokazin. Then for the dual color lens, we have four Elegant Parlor, four Inspiring Vantage, four Sundown Pass. So yeah, we're gonna have our Boros lands down easily. And then two Cavern of Souls, naming humans. The only creatures in this deck are humans, Heartflame Duelist and Judas Carnage. So uh, Cavern of Souls could be uh, used to play Heartflame Duelist against counterspell heavy decks, but it could also double back as a black source for our Judith, 
Uh, so we have three, technically three black swords, actually four black swords if you count Mirix, right? And if you count the two Field of Ruin, that's, uh, that can fetch out the black swords, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six black swords for only one black spell, I think that's good enough. And of course, we have two Field of Ruin in case our opponent has Man Lands uh, or Mirix themselves, and then we have one Mirix to push the envelope against, uh, I, I guess, uh, what is that called again, the uh, Control Heavy decks. That's, that's the whole idea, now let's go into the games. All right, our opponent is Paolo Giri, Guri, Gurli, uh, sure. We got one coin flip, and uh, Judith, uh, we probably won't go to cast. Opponent goes first, just one removal. But I'm gonna keep, because I got four lands. We'll say hi, and probably some sort of Boros. There it is, some sort of Boros. All right, let's be inspiring with our vantage. Our vantage is always inspiring. Double cavern. Oh boy. Novice inspector. Let's get rid of this thing right now. All right, no more tapity tap tap for you. Here comes a gleeful demolition. No, second war. Ah, well, didn't matter there. Didn't matter at all. The sad part is even a vampire's vengeance can't get the warden now. Can I get a lightning helix? No. That is terrible. We're gonna have to eat a lot of damage. That makes me kind of sad. Whoa, he just plays a recruiter. That's surprising. Um, why? If he has another recruiter. That's got to be it, right? Two recruiters. Yep. Here's the thing though, they're gone, <laughs> sucker, I'll take the three damage, but it's better than all that other thing that was happening to me. Alright, got a lightning helix, we might be able to come back from this. Might be, might be, Let, let's see. Alright, we got a tiny boar wipe, slightly bigger boar wipe, flick a coin in him to play Judith, nurturing fairy. Alright, let's stop this from happening. Look at that tiny little fairy. What are you gonna do with it? <laughs> bounce your clue? Don't think you're gonna bounce your clue. Go to my turn. Alright, that's five lands. Do I need five do I need a fifth land? I can cycle with this. No, I think the fifth land is pretty good. That can trigger the Judith uh, and the and the what am I saying? Judith and the festivity combo once I flick a coin at him. But I don't even think he's gonna go that wide anymore, so good for me. Silly Boros, tricks are for kids. Alright, he's flooding too. Yoshin frontliner. Anything else? Do I take this one damage? I actually gain more life if I take this one damage. It's kind of funny. Right? Actually, do I gain more life? I deal more. Uh, I, gain, I deal one damage and I gain that life back. Ooh, okay. That's really good for me. Uh, well, he's gonna have a Night Errand. But I'm actually okay with him having a Night Errand. He's gonna see this and think what's going on. 
Ah, uh, it's unfortunate that that too many of these uh, different kinds of combo for them to work. Uh, well, not for them to work, for for it to not work. So anything I play will work here. So, Judy, and we shall end them festivities. That's good. Death Touch and Life Link. Oh, all your creatures died and then I gain a lot of life? That's not fair for you, is it? Maybe you should have played more things. It's probably a case that he wanted to hold back so to kill my blockers. Little does he know. Judas. Judas happened and he's out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he's going to come back on this. Ooh, a helix. All right, he's really out of this. Not gonna attack here, right? Not gonna attack here. If I attack, I will lose my Judas to an Agonjo. That's a resolute reinforcement. That's fine. He needs to have another two creatures before he can case. And I am okay with that if he wants. Frontliner? Sure. None of these are vampires. Gleeful demolition again. I mean, this is just gonna make him quit. I don't want death touch and life link, right? Because it's gonna kill my own creature. Kill my own vampire. Or kill my own imp, but oh well. Okay, let's do this. Hard fling duelist. Let's make another imp. Go to my turn. Now I can attack. Got no Iganjo. Let's play the duelist again. GG. Goodbye, Boros. You got hard tech against life gain. Alright, our opponent is Johan Kubeha. People just using a whole name here. Alright, opponent goes first. Not good. No bird wipe, also not good, but do have interaction, so I will live with this. Or die with this. Most likely die with this. Our opponent is the roping kind. Actually, my pet's here. Doesn't that mean they finish roping? They're on their turn one. Oh, uh, they're roping turn one, not the mulligan. Mountain? Oh, what a surprise. There's a tap land. Feel free to attack me. Play with fire. There it is. Yeah, we're going second, so this is already game over. Now they have the advantage literally every turn. I have a lightning helix I can use. Godric. Because I have the Helix to Godric. Another Sundown Pass. Let's go. He plots. Then he just attack. This is three damage. I should have waited. Just a little longer. Can he pump this out of the way? He doesn't. That's good for me. Um, do I bend this hall here? I'm gonna have two mana up against a bandit's hall. Oh, after a bandit's hall, right? I think that's fine. I could have played the inspiring vantage there, but it's not very inspiring. And if you have a big creature, I could get lost in, so... Okay, I can't... I, I have to get lost in Godric, I think. Monsters rage on the Godric? What are you, an idiot? Take three. Alright. 
This is one, two, three, four, right? Uh, I have five mana, so. He's got one spell left, right? I, th I think it's probably better for me to just kill the slick shot right now. If he used the map, what happens? I try to kill it, he put a monster's rage on it. Uh, it doesn't grow more than seven. So let him use his mana. Yeah, I think so. Although killing the last turn would have been safer, I give him an extra mana this turn for some other play. With just three mana, he's more restricted to the place than four mana, right? Four mana is two, two spells. Three mana is two and a one. Now he might try to kill my Heart Flame Duel so I don't gain that three life, but Lightning Helix gave me three life anyways, and I'll be at 19. Yeah, so the Lightning Strike kills my creature. Which is three damage and up to my face, so I don't think it mattered. Hello. Make your play. There, there goes your map token. I have a swamp in the deck? Why do I have a swamp in the deck? I don't even remember. Is it just for Judas? It's kinda funny. Alright. Let's see what happens. Come on. I'll take that one. It's so crazy when they don't even have non-basic lands anymore. Oh, it's gonna be bad. Just a bunch of lands. Seriously, just a bunch of lands here. Even though I had a very good opener, I can't believe that red deck is drawing better than me. So... I am, I'm kind of screwed here, aren't I? Yeah, he drew way better than me. He drew four lands. How many, how many lands did I draw? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine lands. I drew double as much as he did. And I don't have double as much as lands as he does. He has 20, 22. I have 26. So, yeah. This factor has not been fun. I drew four playable cards. <laughs> just four. Alright, Vampire's Vengeance and Bandit's Hall, so five. I Bandit's Hall's a land, so five and a half. That would my turn. <laughs> okay. Parlor is another land I can toss. End the festivities. How important is that car? Um it doesn't target. And I don't know if there's any one drops that I really need to kill. I need the triggers for the or the the uh, combos for end of festivities before festivity is a thing. There's Judas in the deck. There's a lot of target in the deck that I can get. This Komano is live, but if he just attacks me for two, right? I'll take it. Does he have a monstrous rage here? Doesn't even use his map. That's weird. Alright, let's, let's see what happens here. Does he want to rage afterwards? It saves Kamano, but it's a lot of damage gone this turn. Cops outside are gonna disagree with what I'm gonna play. Oh. Okay, this works too. Uh, come on, it's it's not that big of a deal, is it? Alright, that that car is always blazing off. Another land! What do you know? Lands are important in a deck. Alright, we'll, we'll pass turn. Let's see what he's gonna do. 
A braid is pretty good because we can target, remove basically anything he wants to play. Uh, and yeah. Unless that's another monster's rage. I guess we can drag this out. Uh, we, we'll have to drag this out. Go to my turn. Nothing happens. Volcanic Spike. That's why I held the land because I have cycles. Or not cycle, but you know. Uh, recycles in the deck. This is going to get scary and scarier from our opponent. Johan Kubei Jia. Your deck sucks. Mono red. Keep clicking on your map. It's not going to go anywhere. We'll mill you out if we have to. Stupid red deck face down. Alright, he's going to draw three cards here. Can he use it right now? How many does he have? One, two, three. He's not going to do anything with it. I'll totally pay for this. Yep. I don't have to play the award. He does discard his hand and draw three cards. Prowess. He wants that to the top. Discards his lightning strike. Uh, resolve. Oh, why is it still awarded? We'll pay for that. And then we'll toss the vantage. Still a land. Okay. Go to my turn. Warfare. Warfare is nice. These are all targeted removal, so they could be useful here. Alright. I don't need two lands in my hand, so I'll put on away. I also don't need this much mana anyways. Well, also playing on land that fast kind of give our opponent an idea that we play lands as soon as we draw them. So we don't, uh, we're not necessarily going to hold lands in our hand. So this is three playable spells. He doesn't know that there's only two of them. Oh, uh, well, to be fair, right? Every two spell that target is one extra card. So I have two or two spells. So I have one and a half card in my hand. He plots. I might need a lot of mana because he keeps plotting like that. Oh, okay. That makes things a lot better. Does he have non-basic lands in the deck? Because I don't need to, you know, use my color mana for any reason since they're all colored mana. Now every every target spell is a card. That's fantastic. Let's see what he's going to do. Uh, we don't have that much mana. It's funny enough, right? We don't have that much mana to do everything because uh, it costs two to activate a bandit's hall uh, to draw a card. Also, not every target spell is a card. Uh, every two target spells, two cards. That's a little bit tricky because you got to remove two from uh, this same bandit's hall. Another my turn. He doesn't want anything. I don't want anything. I got flick a coin. Flick a coin is amazing. It's a target that draws me a card. And then draws me two more cards. So whatever he plays, I'm going to flick a coin at him. Uh, should I hold back here? I think I'll hold back, right? I'm going to 34 is 35. So... I might... You know, mill out. <laughs> After some time. Not that soon, though. He's really trying to build up. Play with fire me. Alright, if he's going to play with fire me like that... I'll play with fire you. Ba boom. Ooh, vengeance. Vengeance is real good. And also draw a card here. Another land. Another land. Uh, there's a lot of lands. But vengeance is another card. Three damage to the boar and draw a card. That's pretty good.
I might just get burned to death if I don't draw my life linking cards. I uh, did I use my helixes? I used two helix already and one hearth flame. Parlor. Let us reveal. What is the next card that we're gonna get? Ooh, another warfare. So a uh, two warfare works really well. Well, multiple warfares work really well with Judas, right? The problem is that is not a card that pressures our opponent. We have Murex in the deck, don't we? Eventually we'll draw it. Okay. That's cool. Do you want to play anything else onto the board? Um, you know what? I can force his hand like this. This is just three damage, right? Uh, let's see. How is three damage enough? He's got monster's rage. No, we should. I should hold our brave back. Bargain it it's for four damage. We'll sack the treasure. I don't need that treasure no more. Would you like to turn that face up? It looks pretty good. We turn it face up. Um, I guess. Doesn't trigger prowess. I'm still dealing four damage to it. You gotta play out your hand. Because they're getting discarded. Shock me for two. Shock me for another two. Yeah, this, he's just gonna try to burn me out. Discard his hand, draws three cards. Okay, it dies. It's a scry, so I can. I think I can put that away. I don't want to lose the warfare, but it can go. Plays a slick shot. Plays a kumano. Tries to buff the slick shot. All right, let's. Do I draw a card first? No. Full vengeance. And damage, more lands. Harfling Duelist is here. Second Harfling Duelist. Alright, I'm at 7, which is not a lot of life, right? So, I think what I'm going to do is play the Duelist and then deal 4 damage to him. That's a lot of uh, did you trigger once a turn? Just trigger once a turn. I wanted these to trigger so I can get additional parts when I need it. An inhuman. Tap the field. Play the duelist. He definitely doesn't want to sling burn spells at my creatures. Wow, he just doesn't miss. Flip that face up, but I will deal the damage. That's fine. Sokazin doesn't do much. I'll pay for it. I gain four life. Thanks to that crazy good spell called Harfling Duelist. Do I want to block with the Duelist? My spells do have lifelink. I'll go down to 9. I 
draw a card. Let's look at coin. Warfare. All right, this guy is showing off his cards. Do I want to flip the coin this turn? I guess I'll flip a coin this turn. I still have removal next turn for one creature, right? I don't have removal for two creatures. This draws me a card. Gains me three life. It's important. And do I attack for three? Or do I keep up a blocker? Don't need to attack here. I have the advantage attacking and just greedy. Swiss Sphere? Is that the buzzers we're talking about? I, th I thought it'd be a crazier, cooler buzzer. Ruckus? Do I want to stop the Ruckus? He's got one more spell. Gains me three life. I don't want him to draw a card. Draws a car anyways. Actually, let's see what we can draw. Could be a removal. Um, could be a removal. One mana removal? No, Judith. Judith. Oh boy. Oh man. <laughs> Top deck the car you need at the time you need it. I am at 17 though, so let's see what you got. He might want to kill my Heartflame Duelist. Ruckus. Yeah, all this is fine. Uh, this, this is Trample. This is not Trample. I'll block one. I'll take... Eight. Oh yeah! Our opponent thinks he's got a lot of damage in. So, let's see. Do they actually have a lot of damage though? Here is. Let's get Death Touch and Life Lincoln. There goes our entire board. I'm at 25. Come on. <laughs> Sucker. Man, our opponent has really good draws, but it didn't matter here. Now I can attack. He's at 10. I'm at 25. He's got two cards. I still have a Bandit's Hall. Don't think they can get out of this with three mechanized warfare. That's a good top deck. Can I also get a good top deck? No. Second Judas. Oh well. I'm okay. You can attack me. Then I'll just kill you. It's a lot of damage. It is a lot of damage. The thing is, I have more damage, right? Is non-combat? Lightning strike? Okay. Well, you want to race. Nine. Nine is not 25. Oh, and got a duelist. That's... I, I don't know how many damage that is. Six. Let's attack first. Goodbye. I don't know how much this is. Oh, you dead mono red. You wanted to play that out. There's no way. Alright, our opponent is Mewtwo Brew Crew. Um, are they really gonna brew? Alright, we're gonna go first. Two get loss. Are they really gonna brew though? They spent money on the Assassin's Creed sleeves. So I mean, that, that signal. That, that, that signals gigantic loser. Um, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Alright, well, am I gonna use an Iganjo for anything? Do I need to red? I might need to red. I 
Phoenix chip. I just take the damage here. Unless he pumps. Get lost. You're not brewing anything, are you? You're just a bad player. Alright, don't get blown up at Monster's Rage, so if he use something. Take the three. It hurts, but it's not the end of the world. So because it might help later. As a creature rather than as two creatures rather than a land. Or brass forge. Alright, I have one of brain in the deck. Um Son of a Dilly. What do we do here? I guess we have vengeance. Do I have one of braid in the deck or two? I think I have one of braid, right? Uh, okay. Well, there's Urbass Forge now. I don't have a first striker. It's gonna feel bad. It's a race to see if I can draw my braid. Is he really not gonna do anything? If he isn't going to do anything, I will mirror Come on. Mirror tracing is doable. Because it takes four turns to kill him. Play with fire in my face. He wants that to the top. He's not gonna pump this 3 1, is he? He does. I don't think I want to use a mirror in this turn. Let's 3 damage him to the dome. Ah, tap land. Helix. Okay. You loser with your forge. Didn't want to play it out because you're a loser. I don't know. I, I, I'm out of insults, but uh, Mewtwo Brute Crew, very cool name. Terrible deck. Alright, our opponent is Zarakas. Ah, uh, opponent goes first. We got Judas opening hand. And in festivity, but can't play it. Tap land, and then the land that can't be used. That's not very good. Okay, this is much better, I would say. Do I put back? I'll keep six. I guess I'll put back a warfare, right? I need three lands. And some removal. And they got Phoenix Chick. Okay, well, turn one, I can't do much, so we'll, we'll start with the parlor. That's a good card. That will be very good with the duelist later. Ah, uh, shit. Okay. Well, against red, I'm not really quite sure. I guess I'll Lightning, Lightning Helix the uh, Felden. Bloodthirsty Adversary. Doesn't seem like he has land, so I don't want to give him an extra land. I don't know if 
Phoenix chick? Vengeance shall be mine. Well, gets blown out by Monster's Rage, but he didn't have it, thank god. He does have it now. Play with fire is unfortunate. But you know, Judas will help us out here. I need six mana for the Judas combo. There's that play with fire. The duelist can remove basically anything. Adversary does not have enough mana. Let's wait for the attack. No? Okay, well. My heart flames for this duel. That sounds kind of gay. We'll go to my turn. What do I draw? A land. How do I do this? I play the Heartflame Duelist. He kills the Heartflame Duelist. I get nowhere. I don't play the Heartflame Duelist. I get nowhere anyways. Do I just take this damage? So I... Okay, let's see. He does have a play. He has a play. He's waiting for the Duelist. Alright, I'm not going to use the Duelist. Just to either play with fire. Godric. Oh man, now I have to do it. So if I draw land. Actually, even, uh, even if I do draw land, right? I don't. Do I want to. You know what? Judas can come out, use up all my mana. That's fine. That's four damage he has to deal. It's not very easy. Lightning Strike does three. Play with fire does two. All right, Judas, solo it. Stupid mono red. The whole ladder is just mono red and poros. No. All right, our opponent is lit in dark. Lit in dark. Whatever they're lit. Um, <laughs> double vampire of vengeance into a bombardment. All right, you know what? Why not? We're not gonna go first. We don't really have a chance, anyways. Parlor. Parlor trick is I need the lance for the bombardment, so let's do it. They're inspiring vantage without a turn one play, which is weird. I mean, they're pretty sure they're Boros, right? But are they Boros bombardment like me? I'm not even Boros bombardment. I just happen to draw it. Angel, Boros, Angel. Okay. Boros, Angel is weird. Uh, so each opponent has more cards in hand. I have more cards in hand right now. So... Yeah, the Vengeance isn't gonna get anywhere, right? This is a 2-4. I can deal 3 damage. Overseer. He draws a card. He played a Bandit's Hall. Do I still have more cards? Wow, how'd that happen? Aurelia? Gotta kill the Aurelia. Um, did I put away the bombardment? I don't think so. <coughs> I mean, what are the odds that this deck has a get lost, right? I don't... I don't think they would. I don't have more cards. Yeah, I don't have more cards. Oh, he's not investigating, he's just triggering. Makes sense. Does have another Aurelia? He's gonna keep removing his cards. Archangel of Wrath. Kick twice. Or 
think this is the best I can do. I'll go down to six here. Very painful. Festivities is two mana, all right? Okay. All I have is a spike, so I might be able to do it. Bombardment and the festivities. I get the spike on the Wojak. Uh, do I put a card? No, I like these cards. Still die to a haste thing, I think. Unfortunately, it is the way it is. That 2 4 got us. So, uh, if I know that was my play, I would have killed the other two. That would be at 8. The board would still be wiped. Nothing really would have changed. But 2 more life is 2 more life, right? He might Archangel me here. Which is not very good for me. He might get lost the bombardment. It's not great for me if he get lost my only bombardment, but it's something that I can live with. Another wall jack. I don't know what a wall jack is. But it's there all the time. Alright, well, we got a Heartland Duelist, so. We'll play to have a little bit of life gain. Don't have more cards than you. Especially if you keep investigating with your clue. The thing is, if I play the Vampire's Vengeance, it does kill my Heartland Duelist. And that's painful. Do I take the 2 here? Then the Angels will kill me, right? I still gotta take it. I think I still gotta take it. Is he really gonna not play anything this turn? Oh, he doesn't have black. Oh, the Cavern is black. Enters the battlefield if it was kicked. Okay, let's see where the damage we're going. Well, we will festivities and then spite. Uh, I guess I lose damage that way, right? Because the the spike goes first. Oh, okay. What was that? I'm at 8. I'm not winning. This is barely any damage. What a coward. Welcome back everyone. Now that you've seen those games, how did you feel about this deck? Uh, I, I think the, the, the results are middling. Uh, it's not the best deck I've played. It's also not the worst. Um, this deck definitely falters if, our if the meta shifts. But this deck works really well right now in the current meta game. Where all I see is Boros and Mono Red. And this, this deck eats Boros and Mono Red for breakfast. Look at all the removals. Right? It's just, we got Boros, we got Borite. We got Mono Red, we got target removal. So, you know, we also have Life Gain. So you're, you're never going to kill us and we will kill you. Eventually, we, you can see in that one game, right? We dragged it out for 20 minutes, but mono red just they can't deal damage to us enough for us to not gain enough life, and then eventually they're gonna run out of cards, and we don't run out of cards because we got pretty, pretty good synergy in the deck, and then uh, Judas is always a damage dealer because uh, just playing our spells can make us imps, and imps will kill them slowly but surely. Uh, one thing I do think I might change, I might cut down the number of mountain down to two to have an extra Mirix. Either that or maybe I'll cut down the swamp to have an extra Mirix. I'm not sure, right? We didn't really need the swamp for Judas that often, so uh, I don't know if that matters too much. But I, I think it's still 
good, uh, use, uh, useful to some extent. I just think we need two Myrix, right? So you get if you want to play this deck, cut one of these cards, right? Either cut a plank, cut a mountain, or cut a cavern for the second Myrix. And if you're really greedy, cut a uh, cut a plank and a mountain, and or actually no, cut a cut a plank and cut a cavern and have two more Myrix. That that work, right? Just have a lot of Myrix and attack our opponents with. Uh, also, what I think would help a lot more. Cut down the number of Judas to one, and then have an extra flick the coin. Uh, flick a coin is something that I feel like every time uh, I'm running out of cards, I really wish I can top deck a flick a coin. So that makes it really all all the better. Now you could say, what about big score? The the problem with uh, my, my intention not to put big score in the deck is that if I put in big score. Then I start thinking about what if I just put in four big score? If I put in four big score, what if I have four flick the coin and just ramp out faster? Now, if I ramp out faster, I'm just gonna hardcore my Marmon deck. So that's no different, right? So I wanna try a different style of deck, and this still works. Uh, I think this works better than my Marmon deck in the current metagame because it's so aggressive, and we just got so much removal and life gain to counter that aggression. Mechanized Warfare has been real fun. Mechanized Warfare. A lot of people think of it as a burn spell. It doesn't have to be. It could just be a spell that helps us uh, with our burn to remove our opponent's board. Mechanized Warfare also doubles really well in synergy with Heart Flame Duelist because now we're, we're dealing a lot more damage with our spells and we're gaining a lot more life. That's really all I got for you today. Thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you guys next time.